What's up, Panther fans? You know this is Panthers Roy 89. Uh, game coming up here against the Falcons. Um, and in other Panther news, um, Cam Newton's going to be gone at the end of the year, and he's going to be a Chicago Bear. Um, that is a done deal, guaranteed. Um, guaranteed. No need to um, worry or think about anything. It's a guaranteed deal. Um, that is the latest rumors around the Carolina Panthers. Um, I think these rumors are ridiculous, right? Um, it is insane, honestly, because we are in, um, what is it, week 11, right? Um, he, nothing is decided at this point, right? And so you're telling me that the Panthers are going to get rid of their franchise quarterback that led them to a Super Bowl. This does the capability to be great. And also a fan base that loves him. I mean, they have Keep Cam in Carolina in 2020 trending on Twitter. A petition you could sign up for to keep him in Carolina. And then they're just going to let him walk, you know. And, you know, if, or, you know, you know, also just, you know, put out this hypothetical scenario. Say the Panthers go 8-8, eight eight, right? Which isn't, you know, honestly that crazy of a possibility. I don't expect it to happen. But it's not that crazy of a possibility, right? You really think the Panthers are going to go, oh, yeah, let's cut Cam and we'll just move on, you know? Like, even if, you know, the Panthers make the playoffs, you know, it's it's just, it's honestly a ridiculous thought and it's irresponsible reporting. And also, if these teams are going to become Super Bowl contenders overnight with the addition of Cam Newton, right? Which I don't necessarily disagree with. I, I don't disagree with at all, actually. Why would the Carolina Panthers let him go then, right? Because you're talking about a roster that is on the older side in some ways, like Luke Keekley is aging and, you know, he has some other veteran guys. Um, but what what makes you think that the Panthers don't want him, right? And so I, I, I don't believe any of that has been decided. And, uh, you know, David Zepper, he has said before that, um, you know, maybe a year off for Cam would be, you know, the best thing for him, kind of the Andrew Luck treatment. He has said that. And you know what? That's pretty much what's happened. So, um, it, it, you know, it's very annoying and obnoxious, the, the reporting that's going on, because – it's absolutely bullshit and ridiculous to think that these teams have decided these moves, right? Say the Bears go on a run, right? And also, they just gave up a bunch of first-round picks for Trubisky just a couple years ago, so they're going to give up on him. You know, so it just just the, like, reporting, and I think it came from Ian Rappaport and, you know, some other outlets, and it's just, it's just honestly insane to me. And, uh, you know, it's irritating as a fan and a, as, you know, is you know about as big as a Cam Newton fan as there could be. Um, it uh, it uh, drives me nuts. Period. And you know, if for some reason the Panthers were to ever get rid of Cam, um, that would be devastating for me. It would make me hate the f the 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 team for a minute, to be honest with you, because you know the the you know you cannot. I obviously I could never stop loving the team, but they've gotten rid of Steve Smith and Thomas Davis, and, you know, just just guys I've always enjoyed watching play, Josh Norman. So um, I don't expect any of that to happen, but uh, I think it's just very irresponsible reporting. And, you know, obviously the hope is Cam plays his whole career, goes out the way he wants, wins the Super Bowl, and, you know, just plays his whole career here, and that's how it should be. Um, but get to get to the game this week, uh, the Falcons are a bad team this year. Uh, they did beat the Saints last week. I think that's the Saints honestly overlooking them than them being all of a sudden a good team. Falcons do give us fits, though. Um, division game, you never know what's going to happen. Um, but I think this is a game we should win 28-21, maybe 28-24 right in that range. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, also, I mean, Atlanta's defense is pretty bad this year. We might honestly even score... 38 points in this game. I, I could see this being an offensive-type explosion um, game. Atlanta is uh, the worst team in the league at creating turnovers. Uh, they are, uh, you know, they're not going to generate a lot of um, plays on defense. Uh, main thing, obviously, is you have to stop Matt Ryan and Julio Jones, and we just got to hope McCaffrey carries us to the win, right? So uh, we should beat them. We are the better team, and uh, we definitely need this win. Uh, that's that's for sure. Um, in order to make the playoffs, we've got to keep winning. Uh, no doubt about that. 
So uh, hopefully we can get the W this week. And I think that's about all for this video. So thanks for watching and go Panthers.